guys, how you doing? It's Henry and more blowers. <laughs> it's still kind of chilly here in Long Island. It's like uh, April 25th, you know, and uh, it's about 40 degrees today. The sun's out and everything, but um, you know, it's a good time to um, grow seed. So uh, because it's still so cool, the grass is growing. You want to throw out some seed on there, spread some seed down so that it uh, gets embedded in between the blades of the grass that started to grow. So right after winter time, the grass was not growing yet, you know, so it wasn't a good time to seed. But now that you have some blade cover, it's a good time to put down some seed, which I did. I used that Scott's $44 for a bag of 15 pound seed. I will understand that it is made by Scott's, right? Turf Builder, and it is coated. Each of the seed is coated by this like uh, light blue type fertilizer thing. So it should grow very well, at least prevent the birds from coming down and taking the seed, you know? But I feel kind of lousy that I paid $44 for that bag. When I could have gotten three bags of 15, that's not coated. But nevertheless, we'll see how it goes, you know? It rained a lot yesterday, which is a perfect time to put it down. Uh, anyway, today I'm gonna be working on, I don't know, seemingly my seventh or eighth push mower in this uh, past week or so, because I have so many to do, you know? I'm not gonna do any lawn tractors yet, until I get all my push mowers figured out and sold, hopefully. So uh, I got this one from Stan of Dix Hills. He's a subscriber who contacted me and said he was throwing it out, come and get it. I went over there, we did a video about his car collection and all that stuff. Uh, anyway, as far as I know, it's only the pull cord that's busted because he actually showed me a video of this thing running. He had something else connected to it, got it to pull, and it started. It's an auto choke Briggs Quantum engine, which I love. It is self-propelled, and he says it does work. However, when you push it, it makes a noise. And there's quite a lot of resistance, too. You can't freely push it without putting some effort into it, and it squeaks. So I'm thinking it's either the uh, axle where the wheel goes onto, rusted, or there's debris, or something like that, or it could be the gears that connect onto the teeth of the wheels, that is rusted too and it needs some greasing, grinding down all the rust from the axle um, and it'll roll smoothly. And hopefully I can just like spray some penetrating oil on there, right? Without having to grind any rust away to get this moving. First comes first though, we have to go and fix this uh, recoil starter, right? And I don't really like doing the rope thing, which I can, but I have a lot of recoil starters. I'm going to remove this whole thing, get the recoil starter out, and match it up with maybe one that I have. Before that, I want to thank my boy Samuel Sandoval over at Sandoval DIYs. Go check him out on Instagram. He sent me a package yesterday, which I opened up. It's a couple of front lawn tractor inner tubes, six inch ones. I got a note from him, and the note says, Hello, Henry. I'm not doing tractors anymore and had these extra. I thought you might use them. Subscriber Sam, Sandoval DIYs. Thanks a lot, Sam, for sending me your extra inner tubes. I haven't used inner tubes in a while either. <laughs> Remember, I discovered automatic transmission fluid. But thanks a lot. I will be using this in a future application where that the uh, wheel is completely dry rotted and cracked. I could still use inner tubes for sure. Thank you very much for thinking of me. And uh, it's going to go to good use in a future video. So let's remove this top shroud. And it's only two Phillips screws that hold the shroud on here. I've done this like literally a million times, right? Then you'll need five sixteenths, three of them over here to remove this to go like that. One five sixteenths to pivot the oil dipstick to the right. <laughs> dipstick? Fetus, you know what you are? You're a dipstick, a 14 carat dipstick. And then there's four three eighths. Two short ones for the back and two little bit longer ones in the front. And that's it. That's all it takes to remove the uh, recoil starter. From the mower. Now, Briggs makes, uh, I don't know, seemingly five different kinds of recoil starters for the quantum engines, right? And you have to look at the cutouts. 
the cutouts don't match exactly like this on the right side and exactly like that on the left side because of the auto choke feature you could have a primer feature too it's going to be different so not all uh, of these recoil starters even though it's from a Briggs quantum engine is going to fit on your particular application I've seen like five different kinds of patterns where they cut it out sometimes you try to put one on and it doesn't match where this thing is cut out you're not going to be able to fix this on there you know what I mean in which case uh, you couldn't take off this recoil starter off this engine cover anyway because it's riveted on there. I mean, I suppose you could, but it's a pain in the ass, you know what I mean? Why am I wearing this outfit here? You guys notice, it's my tactical hoodie, which I take to the range to shoot, right? It's got my AR-15 logo here, as well as a very cool mowers and blowers thing. And uh, it mean, O negative means my blood type. And... Uh, NKDA means known known diagnosed allergies, I believe. It's in case I'm wearing this and I get shot and so the EMS people know that I'm O negative and I don't have any known allergies. But it's, I thought it was kind of a cool, you know, patch to put on here. Uh, anyway, uh, go and check out my uh, cousin's channel, Hank the Asian Redneck. I just did a video on my purchase of a taser, taser, taser. I bought a taser gun. Uh, I also show my uh, stun gun as well as my pepper spray and the experience that I went through to get it. So it's a very interesting video. Hope you guys go check out Hank the Asian Redneck. Hey, he's got 305 subscribers now, huh? So I went to my backyard. I have like 15 of these things, right? None of them look like that. There was two that looked like that, but it didn't have a pull roll. So um, I just basically pulled one of these recoil starters off of the non-matching one, but it has a good pull rope, you know? So I'm just gonna steal this rope and restring that. And to do this, you pull this all the way out to the end. And as you can see, there's the knot for it. I'm just gonna cut the knot right there. Pull the rope out, let go. So I'll use this, I mean, I know it works, so I could just restring it if I ever need one of these, but I, like I said, I got 15 of these things, a lot of them. So uh, I'm gonna do the same with this, pull this all the way out. And it looks like it has good length too, you know? Could have just put a handle on the end and that was it, but it's still too short. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually cut this end right here. Pull this string out. It's all the way to the end. Where's that good string? Is this a good string? This is the good string. Stick the good string through here, try to match it up. Wow, first shot. Grab it, pull it out, make a knot. Well, I don't want this to retract while I'm make, making the knot, so I'll shove this in here just to hold it. Make a quick knot over here. <laughs> this is like the fastest uh, rope recoil fix ever, huh? Pull it straight. Release. There we go. We've just restrung this. Oh my goodness. No, that's right. Okay, good, good, good. I thought I put the old one back on. There you go, see? This has a little bit of a stopper here because it extends over to there. This extra length over here is so that it, this part, the handle can attach to your bail handle thing. It's easier to reach instead of pulling to the engine to pull it, you know? So look, we got this all figured out and I'll just put this back.
put some gas in here. I just checked the oil and it's clean, but it may need some more topping off. But we'll do that in a minute, see if this runs and starts. So we got a new recoil starter on here. So what's the video that Stan showed me? It's supposed to work. Let's see. Auto choke. bit of uh, earl so it won't squeak <laughs> of course it's not that one tap inch that's nine sixteenths wow nine sixteenths take off the front wheel hello hello Supposed to just pop off. There we go. Maybe that's why it squeaks, huh? <laughs> just got some old uh, liquid wrench here. Just gonna do some spray there. Good teeth. Put some in the shaft there. <laughs> Put some lube on the shaft. <laughs> still hear some stuff coming out the other side, so maybe this is it. Oh, much smoother. I'll do the other side. Like it just need a little bit of topping off, so maybe five ounces or less. Oops, that's enough of some SAE 30 plus from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products. As you guys see, I wiped it down real quick from the excess dripping oil that was over here, just wiped it down with some oil looks great great to take pictures with list it locally come on guys let's not overthink this it's just a lawnmower right as long as you can get a presentable for sale that's all you need that was a fast real quick fix oiled the wheels in the front so they don't squeak anymore replace the recoil starter pull rope thing runs just fine i'm gonna list this for like 175 a bagger front soap propulsion still works Actually, maybe I'll maybe I'll list it for 200 and get 150 for it, huh? What do you think? Again, just a lawnmower, guys. Make it look nice, and as long as it works, added some oil. Thanks a lot for joining me on this easy, quick fix. Thanks to Stan from Dix Hills. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.